me run a couple things, a couple of, I'm going to run a couple demos here and let's see if the formula works. So we're going to check the formula here. T equals 2 pi square root of m over k. So here I have a, a springs here that I have. Now if we, if we prove, the formula I'm going to try to prove is this one, 2 pi square root of m over k. If I prove this, that means I prove the f formula. And if you prove the F formula, you prove the omega. So I don't have to prove all three of them. They're all connected, you know. So I have a stopwatch here. I'm going to have... Uh, release this, and then I'm going to time 10 revolutions. One, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I kind of got weird there. It, this is what's known as a chaotic orbit. Once it goes a little chaotic, it, let me go a little more controlled here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, six point thirty-one seconds. For 10 revs, I'm getting 6.31 seconds. So let's do it. This is like our first example. Okay. So uh, what's the period then? The period is the amount of time per revolutions or cycles, right? So uh, Okay, now, how much mass do I have there? Well, actually, the spring itself weighs something, and the hanger weighs uh, 50 grams. Okay, so let's say I don't know the weight of the spring. So I have the mass that I have there is uh, 50 plus some unknown mass. So let me just call it X, you know. So I have the mass is uh, 50 grams plus some unknown. Actually, let me change the mass to uh, kilogram. So x is going to be the mass, the effective mass of the spring. Okay, so what's the K of the spring? Does anybody remember we did this, we, we, we actually did a lab with this spring and we found out it's K. I believe it was lab 8. Uh, we graphed the force versus the displacement of this spring, and then we had the computer give us the best slope of the line. Do you, do you remember what the K of the spring was? I happen to remember. They, they're about 8 to 10 newtons per meter, something in that ballpark. Okay? So... Uh, <clears throat> let's just say the K is 10, okay? I remember most people got something like that, 8, 9, 10 newtons per meter for, this was the tapered spring. So let's say 10 newtons per meter. So from that, I'm going to calculate here, two, the period is 2 pi square root of M over K, right? Uh, so from the period, uh, the period is what, 0 0.631 seconds, 2 pi square root of m over k, which is uh, 0.050 plus x, divided by 10. 
So from that, let's calculate the x. The x is the effective mass of the spring. Okay. So uh, I'll bring the 2 pi over here, square both sides, and then cross multiply. So I get 0 0.631 divided by 2 pi. And then uh, square that, multiply it by 10, and then that's 0 0.050 plus x. So tell me, and then from there, you subtract 0 0.050, and then you solve for x. Oh, that's interesting. 0 0.051. So almost equal to the mass of uh, what's hanging. Right? So that means the effective mass of the spring is 0 0.051. Now it ends up being, the effective mass of the uh, spring ends up being about a third of its actual mass. Uh, this last lab that we're not going to do because the Friday lab is uh, the finals week, that, in that lab you would have proven that. The effective mass of the spring turns out to be a third of its uh, uh, actual mass. But, so we got 0.051 uh, kilogram. Now, by doing this little exercise, have we proven the formula? Have we proven the formula T equals 2 pi squared of M over K? No way. Because all we did is uh, we calculated the period T. We used the formula to, to calculate X. So we haven't yet proven the formula. How can I now do, what can I now do to prove the formula? I can use the X that I got. I can add some more mass to the hanger, right? And now I can run the experiment again. And if, I, if the formula is correct, it should predict the right time. Right? So let me add. I'm going to add 200 grams to the hanger. So this is the experimental way of proving the formula, seeing if it works. OK? Run it again here. Extend it, letting go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I got ten point nine seven seconds. <clears throat> 